Hey gang, I'm Jason Halliker, and on this beautiful Virginia morning, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about summertime trout fishing opportunities. Now I know it's the dog days of summer and you're probably thinking about hanging up your fly rod for the year, but before you do, let me take you to a secret hotspot for summertime trout fishing. It's a bit of a drive, but White Top Laurel is an incredible trout fishery and is listed by Trout Unlimited as one of the top 100 streams in the United States. Trust me, it is worth the trip. Steve, thanks a lot for having me down today. What a gorgeous day here, right next to beautiful white top laurel. Tell us what's special about this fishery down here. Well, Jason, I'm glad you were able to make it down to beautiful southwest Virginia, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, white top laurel and the opportunity that it, it offers anglers uh, to fish a, a, a large wild trout stream. Uh, this stream primarily consists of a wild rainbow trout fishery, but there is an opportunity for anglers to catch uh, brook trout as well as brown trout and, uh, in, a, in a large stream setting. Uh, most of the trout anglers are going to um, encounter here are going to range between 9 and 11 inches in length, although there are opportunities to catch fish that may, uh, uh, may reach sizes that are qu quite larger, uh, up 15, 16 inches. Nice. Now there's a, there's a couple of different reaches in this stream. Tell us a little bit about the different fishing opportunities that you have. Okay, good point, Jason. Uh, White Top Laurel has uh, a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, we've got several sections that are in our designated stock trout program where catchable trout are stocked eight times throughout the uh, period from October 1st through uh, the end of May. And then we also have uh, two special regulation areas where uh, single hook artificial lures only are required and, uh, and, and anglers uh, are not allowed to use bait and, uh, and you've got a, 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 an increased size limit. You know, Steve, one thing that I'm really passionate about is access to these resources. Sometimes when you're fishing for these wild trout, it can be really hard to hike back in and get to these different spots, but this place is really unique. We're right in the middle of the Mount Rogers recreational area. There's ton of, tons of amenities here. There's parking, there's handicapped accessible fishing, there's bathrooms. We're standing on the Virginia Creeper Trail which parallels the stream. There's mountain bikes going by us as we speak. Um, so there's just tons of ways for families to get together and recreate in the outdoors. Um, there's lots of ways for you to load up a fly, fly rod and bike down the trail to find your own little secret spot. And so it's really a, a nicely laid out area. Um, the other unique thing is summer flows are great around here. You know, in the valley where I'm you know, from, it's pool to pool right now, it's dry. But in the summertime down here, this is the best time to fish this stream. Um, so not only do you manage this water, but you also recreate yourself, right? You get to go out and fish sometimes, which is always fun. So let's go down to the water and uh, we can share some, some tips and tricks with the folks out there. And, uh, and go fishing on, on work time. That's always fun. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about a couple of tricks to help you be successful uh, trout fishing white top laurel in the summertime. A lot of people just kind of have that go-to uh, mentality, they want to dry fly fish, they want to fish with a terrestrial, and that's fine, but sometimes circumstances, if you want to catch fish, you need to do something different. Well, don't overlook nymphing. Nymphing uh, can be highly successful through the summer in, under certain uh, situations. And what I try to do, um, if fish aren't actively feeding on the surface, a lot of times my go-to will be uh, to use a, a nymph rig where I have a dropper system. I have a, a smaller nymph uh, down on the lower end of my uh, tippet. And then six to 10 inches above that, I may have a, a slightly larger nymph. And then I'll, um, I'll rig it up with a, a strike indicator of some sort just so uh, uh, if a fish does hit I can I can get a quick uh, 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 hook set on it. Another thing to keep in mind is that white top and a lot of the mountain streams can become very low and clear in the summertime and so stealth becomes important. Um, it helps to approach from downstream so that you're staying out of the fish's field of view since they're facing mostly upstream in the current. Um, staying low and uh, just walking quietly. And if it becomes really low, um, you can replace your strike indicator in the nymph rig um, with a fly that imitates a terrestrial insect, something like an ant or a beetle or a grasshopper if you have open, fieldy, grassy areas. And then you can drop a small nymph 
off the bottom of that and still catch fish below the surface. What an incredible day spent in the outdoors. We hope these tips help you achieve success on your next fishing adventure. Thanks for watching and remember to go outdoors, Virginia.